Hello and welcome to another update video about INJ, Injective Protocol. Um, yeah, could not get above the $10 level here a couple of times, double top in place, and then came down over the last few weeks into our support area. Um, I think the first or the last video I made was when we reacted to it for the first time. Again, I always emphasize uh, good practice, yeah, best practices like um, regular profit taking, moving up your stop loss when the trade works out because you need to be aware that altcoins, they're very volatile. They sometimes break down and uh, regular profit taking will at least make sure that you do not lose money. In the best case, you make money and capital preservation is always key. So it rallied, okay, came down into, into the support area again to the golden ratio here at $6.78, $6.79, reacted now again and is rallying again. I'm starting to um, lose trust in, into this pattern, however. It's a very, very choppy chart. It seems to be consolidating below the ascending trend line. I like to use Fibonacci support more than trend lines, but um, it, see, it just makes a weak impression to me, I have to say. Yeah? It just makes a weak impression to me. Um, we now need to see if price can turn around here. It really needs to break above this resistance level next. This resistance level next is sort of the neckline of that head and shoulders. It's roughly at eight dollars yeah, for getting back into some kind of a yeah buying pressure situation and to have a chance to get to the ten dollar level. Bear in mind this chart is um, a diagonal structure at best. Yeah, in the worst case, it topped here already and is on the way into a new uh, bear market to new lows. But I'm not primarily looking at that um, for the simple reason that for this to have well to have topped in a three wave move it then came down in a pretty correct fashion so uh, loud car um that's the dog anyway, it came down in a very corrective fashion and it moved up in a corrective fashion so it, it it's just not clearly trending in any direction you see it's in a massive range as it seems so the 10 dollar level is sort of the range top here and then we seem to have support sort of down here around $5.45. Some further support here where the golden ratio is sitting where we had previous support here and here. For me, that is a messy chart. It's not a very clear chart because it did not rally in an impulse. And also most recently, it did not rally in an impulse. In the best case, this was an A wave. The move down is a three wave ABC structure. And as long as it's now holding, that yellow support box, it has a chance to rally in the C wave. I'm not very happy with what I see down there as a setup on the smaller time frame. Yes, this could be a wave one and possibly a wave two to the downside of the C wave. Yeah, This would be the best case. And I think condition is that this intraday low is holding, then it might be on its way higher in a C wave shown now in the white wave count. Um, reason I'm saying it could be a 1-2 setup is this move down looks like a three-wave structure. A wave down, B wave up, C wave down. And then within the C wave, you have a 1-2, possibly here actually an ending diagonal. It's a bit hard to a bit hard to put that onto the chart on this um, in this sort of micro uh, on this microstructure, but we had a trend line. And a one, two, three, four, five. It's actually a perfect ending diagonal structure, basically like a descending wedge. Um, but it now needs to push. Okay, it needs to push higher, of course, uh, to maintain that momentum. Normally, you say the first target after such a wedge breaks is the beginning of the wedge. That's up here at around seven dollars and eighty-eight, seven dollars and eighty-seven. If we can get above that level. We have sort of to take all these tops out and that's sort of at around $8.25. Then we should get sort of to these previous spikes. So sort of there's a bit of a, an area of support and resistance here around $9. And then we've got the $10 level resistance, which is very, very important also psychologically. So it's not a done deal yet, but against the intraday low, I think we can focus on higher. It's just not high confidence because this is moving in corrective structures in diagonals and um, it's not an impulse, but I think uh, the levels should be clear. 
And um, yeah, maybe this is very, very early evidence that um, a low is in place here, very early evidence. So I, I don't trust this chart, I have to say that as well. This is sort of my best, the best I can do with regards to an Elliott wave count, yeah? So that's my update about INJ. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.